tag end of the year 2016 and we have only spoken about all the problems but let's flip it over and talk about the big success stories as well. One of the big stars this year has been in the auto ancillary space. Minda Industries is the company that we're talking about and it is one of the stars of 2016. Uh, up until now, the stock has risen 73% in um, since the start of the year and in the last 12 months, it's risen 85%. So, dear Jane, the group CFO of Minda Industries joins us on the phone line in fact, live from New Delhi to talk about that. Uh, Mr. Jain, uh, good morning and thank you so much for being with us on the show. It was a good year for you. In fact, the last couple of years have been quite strong for the company. But I want to understand what the future potential looks like. What kind of growth are you envisaging for Minda Industries over the next two to three years? And where do you see fresh growth triggers coming from? Yeah, we are targeting same kind of growth in next uh, one to two years at least and uh, say 20-25% growth in the bottom line. And this growth is coming as I have already shared that we are multi-product, multi-locational supplies to all sectors and segments uh, uh, in the auto. And a uh, lot of investments we made in the last four to five years also. And uh, that investment is also now bearing fruits and still there is a scope for improving productivity capacity utilization in those investments which will uh, and which will give us uh, better returns in uh, years to come uh, when you say 20 to 25 percent you mean at an EBITDA level yes okay uh, you said that uh, you're actually seeing uh, a likely improvement in margins are you seeing a likely improvement in top line as well Yes, it would be accompanied by the top line also and uh, top line of course whatever would be the sector growth uh, uh, we should be maintaining at that, that level plus uh, of course the new capacities and as you are aware we are also consolidating our operations under Minda Industries Limited. Uh, we were having multiple companies investment was flowing from some from the Minda Industries and some from uh, uh, finance companies. Already two-third and more than two-third of the group has already been brought under Minda Industries and uh, rest of the products we are in the process to bring under Minda Industries Limited. Okay. Which uh, will also add to our top line growth. Okay. I just wanted to understand from you whether you have faced any kind of uh, slowdown in demand in the recent past because of demonetization. And more importantly, have any of your clients, I mean, you're exposed to the whole uh, gamut of OEMs, have any of your clients indicated any major cash crunch? Uh, yes, after demonetization, there is some effect uh, on the growth and particularly two-wheeler. And uh, as far as we are concerned, as I said, we supply to all segments and to practically all OEMs. So that is also a good hedge over one segment growing faster than the other. So having said that, 50% uh, of our group turnover is from passenger cars and four-wheelers and balance 50% from two-wheeler. Two-wheeler sales have been affected post-demonetization and the effect would be felt in uh, the month of December also. But overall what we feel is that uh, uh, it will have an adverse effect to the extent of 5% of the top line. Uh, this is in the background of the 11% uh, growth which the sector or was doing in the first half. So in case we reckon that in the first half uh, auto sector has grown by 11% and after that there is a uh, reduction or slow down to the extent of 4 5%. So still the overall growth would be there but the growth would not be as much as was expected and planned. Hmm. to the extent of two wheelers okay. four wheeler is going on as per plan okay all right uh, uh, it was a pleasure speaking with you sir thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, with your thoughts this morning